Barak at the Yahweh, Barak at the Yahweh Shai. All praises, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly refers to as God. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten of the Heavenly Father, whom the world refers to as Jesus. That's a foul name that, that's not going to save you. Jesus is not going to save you. The true name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right? Bashim Rakakadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. The bronze to the apostles and others of great millstone to rule well. Shalom, wa baraki and habakari, and peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord's will is an edifying video. All right. And this video is going to be along the lines because I had a thought that just came to mind this morning about who are you seeking to be approved of, or who are you seeking your approval or your validation? Because all men, okay, are seeking validation. Okay, all men and women. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go into the order real quick. I'm gonna go into the order. First Corinthians, what is it, 11? Yeah. All right. This is First Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is the Most High. So that's the order. It goes the heavenly Father and the heavenly and Yahweh Shai's head is the is the Most High Yahweh. All right, the heavenly Father, and then and the man, his head is Yahweh Shai. All right, and the woman, her head is the man. All right, and if you look how these women conduct or whatever, they seek validation from men. All right, but really they should only be seeking validation or the approval of their own man, their husband. Once they go seeking validation. From other men and, sh and trying to do things to please other men, that makes her a whore. All right? Because what? That's going to lead to adultery. All right? She's going to do whatever it takes, e e even giving up her body, all right, to be approved of other men outside of her men. Okay? And us, we are the women of the Most High, of Yahweh Shai. All right? And we're supposed to be seeking our approval or our validation from the Most High. Okay? So let me get this real quick. Second Timothy chapter two, and that and that's what makes us faithful. All right, because if we try to seek um, high self esteem or feel good about ourselves about anything in the, in something outside of this truth, anything in this world, that makes us fornicators. It makes us spiritual adulterers, and the, and the and the uh, the consequence of that is death. The fruit of that is death. It's Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So the Lord told us that we need to be studious, all right, towards his word, that we may be approved of, of, of him, okay? Because that's who we're supposed to be seeking our approval of the Most High, rightly dividing the word of truth, properly breaking down and teaching this truth to other men, all right, that are like-minded, that, that want to serve the Lord, all right, so like you, I have allergies, so bear with me. All right, now this scripture um, is Sirach. I'm gonna go to the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Three, and I'm gonna read verse 17. My son, go on with thy business in meekness. So shall thou be beloved of him that is approved. All right. If we also the Lord commands us to be meek and humble. All right. So what? We could be approved of the most high. Okay. So we could be acceptable in the sight of the Lord. All right. Let me get this real quick. I'm going to continue in that. But I'm going to get this. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. All right, to be obedient to our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, keep his commandments and fear him. That's our whole duty, man. We're supposed to be seeking every day to, to be approved or to please our power and our deeds and our actions. And we do this by following his commandments. Okay, fearing him. Okay, one of his commandments is that we're supposed to be humble. Okay, we're supposed to be uh, diligent. We're supposed to be brotherly. These are the different commandments of life that we find in the scriptures that we seek to, to do because we're seeking to please our power. 
All right. And I began the video with the analogy between men and women because women are supposed to be doing the same thing towards us as the men. All right. The seek this the the desire is to supposed to be to to their husband. Their desire is supposed to be to serve us and please us and seek the approval of us, just as our desire is supposed to be to our husband, which is the most high. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? All right. So this is Surah 3 and 18. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. We're supposed to be seeking favor, man. Okay? Doing the things that are favorable towards the Lord. It says, Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. All right? So we're supposed to be meek and lowly. Now I'm going to get this real quick. All right? Because... The elect, they understand this. And that's what that's how they live. That's how we live. Lord as well be part of the elect. Or we live to seek to, to please the Lord. All right. But the two thirds, they seek to please Satan, man. They seek to please this world. All right. And he can't do that. All right. Let me get this real quick. This is James. The book of James, chapter four, verse four. And it's, this is a good verse because it goes exactly what I was talking about. Adultery, man. So James 4 and 4, ye adulterous and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. All right, that's why we got to distance ourselves from this place, cut off this place, because the more we get involved into the things that's in this world, the things that's in this place, the more jealous the Most High is going to get. All right, we got to detach the, our number one. Our end all be all is supposed to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now the scriptures say, be used of the world and not abuse of the Lord, subject us to this vanity. The Lord subject us to this world, so we still have to serve the world to a certain extent. We have to work. We might have family members that we have to deal with, so on and so forth. All right? But that's not the end all be all. The end all be all is our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and dwelling with our Lord. All right? Because, <laughs> like it says at the beginning of the verse, Ye adulterers and adulteress. All right? Because you're a, a spiritual fornicator, man. You're a spiritual adult, adulterer. All right? If you're, if you're friends with this world, if you're laying in bed, okay, with this world, man. The philosophies of this world, the things of this world. You getting all into this world, man. All right? Now, I'm going to go to Mark. And that's what two-thirds, they don't understand. But two-thirds of our people, majority of our people, they're fully indulged into, the, into this world. All right, they're fully indulging, seeking the approval of the people of this world. All right, these heathens, okay, Satan. All right, we're not supposed to be like that. This is Mark 8 and 38. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Because right now, being with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or being his servant, or being a follower of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is not popular right now. Okay? You're not going to get women for being with the Lord in these times. But in the kingdom, you are. Oh, that's that. you part of the elect. You part of 144. You're one of the Lord's men. Are you going? Everyone was going to want to be with you. But right now, it's not popular. That's just one example. Okay? There's many examples. It's not the end thing. Okay, to seek after righteousness right now. But the scriptures say, if you're ashamed of the of the word of the Lord, if you're saying, ashamed of doing what's pleasing unto the Lord, growing your beard out, okay, uh, going to camp, okay, doing videos, preaching this gospel, if you're ashamed of these things uh, uh, in this adulterous and sinful generation because, you, because you, you, you want the approval, you want the validation of these sinners, man, these people out here are homos, Okay, they're adulterers, they're idolaters, all right? They're swine eaters, okay? They're filthy. But you want to be uh, acceptable in their sight and be despised in the sight of the Lord? So the Lord says if, you, if you're if you in that spirit, he's going to be ashamed of you when he comes and destroy this place because the Lord's going to destroy this place, man, all right? That's one thing that we can never forget, man. We serve the power that created all things. So we're supposed to be on his side no matter what. All right. Just like if you had a woman, right? And you right, you lose your job. All right? And uh you don't have as much money anymore. You, you guys are eating one meal a day, you're struggling. 
all right? And she leaves you to be with a, a, a man that's not rich, but a dude that's making a little bit more money than you. But then you make, then you get your money back. You get rich and she tries to come back to you. What are you going to do to that woman, man? You going to, uh, you're not going to receive her back, man. Because she showed herself to be unfaithful. Same thing with the Most High. All right? Because when the Most High, because right now it's essentially like the Most High is not rich. All right? Even though the Heavenly Father created all things, he could do all things. But right now it's not cool to be serving him. Okay? But when he comes back in his glory with his holy angels, it is going to be cool to be with the Most High. All right? But if you can't be faithful to the Lord now, the Lord's not going to let you be with him. All right? When it is easy to be with the Lord. You see? The scriptures talk about uh, let me get this real quick in uh, Sirach, the sixth chapter. This is Sirach six, and uh, let's see. I'm gonna start at verse seven. All right. It says, "If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him." All right. So that that's what the Lord is doing with with His elect. All right. <laughs> He's proving us. With trials, temptations, tribulations to see if we're going to be faithful. Okay? It says, For some man is a, is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. So that's why we're in trouble right now and it's going to get even worse, man. Because the Lord wants to see if you're truly his friend. The Lord wants to see if you're truly about him. All right? It says, verse 9, And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table. It will not continue the day of thy affliction, huh? And the Most High, the Lord knows this. We're reading his words. All right? That's why it's not easy to serve the Lord right now because he's proven us. He's trying us. All right? But if we endure unto the end, the scriptures say, he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. We're going to receive all the benefits that comes with being a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. We're going to receive the glory, the honor, the fame, the riches. Okay? Anything a man could want, we're going to have, man. Okay, it says, verse 11, but in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face. And that's what two thirds are doing right now. They're against the Lord. They're hiding, the, hiding themselves from, from the face of the Lord. All right, because the wicked is in power right now. The wicked was given rulership of the earth. All right. Verse 13, Se separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed to thy friends. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's going to kill two-thirds, man, because they're the enemies of the Most High. All right? A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that have found such as one have found a treasure. All right? And that's the, the elect are the tr are treasure to the Lord, man. The 144,000 men that we read of in these scriptures, the men written in the book of life, the treasure to the Most High, man, because they're faithful. They're found faithful. No matter what, no matter what adversity is sent to them, okay, no matter how many multitudes come up against them, they're not gonna they're always gonna serve the Lord. They're always gonna choose the side of the Lord, man. That's an honorable thing. And that's something that we gotta constantly pray to hope that we're a part of. Cause at the end of end of the day we don't know until till it happens. Till till the end till the end comes. All right. This is Ecclesiastes of Sirach one, verse thirteen. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. Again, we're seeking that favor of the Lord, man. Verse 14, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. All right. The elect are known as the faithful, man. They're faithful towards their power, man. No matter what. And the Lord gave them that faith, all right, in the womb. All right, before the earth was created, before they came down onto the earth, man. The Lord gave particular men that faith, man. All right. And Lord's will, we have that faith, man. That's why we got to constantly get into these words, hear these words, so our faith can increase. All right? And we can really endure the tribulation that's about to come, the trouble that's about to come, and still remain faithful towards our power. All right? Lord, so this is an edifying video. I will give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakaq, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well. Shalom, wa barakim, la Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.